have been having a little bit of internet troubles this morning so I would love to hear from people or get thumbs up if you can see so that I can be sure that you're all with me. You're good. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. So um, I kind of want to preface this by saying that um, and someone else earlier said it really, really nicely. You know, there are going to be some people in this moment in time who are in defense mode and just holding on to, to what they've got with, with everything they've got. And there are going to be some people who are um, ready to move into offense mode and really figure out how to not necessarily capitalize or use the situation, but, you know, muster through and really commit to growing the business. Um, we're all dealing with just horrendous circumstances. Aaron, my house looks much the same <laughs> with only one kid. So you're doing all right. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. So, you know, everything that I'm going to say here now, I think everybody here is, is in offense mode, at least to some extent. You're all, you've all shown up this morning. You're all, uh, you know, committing a couple hours to your business, which might feel like a massive stretch today. Um, but you're here and you're doing it. But I do want to say that what I'm going to say in this presentation is, you know, obviously the ideal. It's the ideal approach to uh, dealing with the social media and current times may make all of this completely impossible for you. So I don't want to leave anyone with the feeling that you're not doing enough or you should be, you know, doing impossible things right now. But this, you know, I really just want to share um, in, in a brief few minutes uh, what a social media strategy looks like how you can maybe level up a little bit on your social media content so that you can at least during this time be putting your marketing efforts in somewhere that will eventually pay off. Um, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat box. Hopefully I'll be able to see that somewhere at some point um, while we're going through this presentation and I will answer them towards the end. So social media strategy in 15 minutes. Can you believe that that's even possible? I'm not sure, but we'll try. So welcome to Social Media School. This is uh, the world's shortest social media school. Uh, I wanna talk about a couple of brief things. Uh, first is what a social media strategy even consists of. What does it look like? What needs to go into it? Um, second is some questions that you can ask yourself about your own social media presence and, and where you're at with that. I also wanna introduce you to my little friend, the Ada Funnel which is, in my opinion, the most key element of any social media strategy and the thing that most small business owners do not understand. And it's the thing that will take you from using social media for brand awareness to uh, being able to actually bring customers in through social media and knowing that that's where they came from. Next, I want to talk about being social. Um, I named my company Be Social Media way back when, when I started this business. Uh, there's a reason for that and I'll tell you all about it and also uh, a little bit about how you can build your own social media strategy. A little introduction, just move you all out of the way so I can see. I'm Bridie, uh, not Birdie, not Brady, Bridie. Um, it's, uh, it's a tricky one, I know. I've been a social media strategist for 10 years and I've worked with all kinds of businesses, uh, B2B and B2C, different events and conferences, international ones, uh, brick and mortar retail outlets, uh, influencers in sports, fitness, uh, in tech. I've worked with uh, app startups and many, many small businesses in all kinds of fields. So hopefully now you feel like I have any kind of qualification to tell you anything about this and we can move forward with a little bit of confidence that you know who you're talking to. Um, what does a social media strategy consist of? This is like a really simplified version of what a social media strategy consists of, but we've only got 15 minutes, so we'll keep it to this. Uh, first things first, and you've probably heard it a few times from various marketers over the years, uh, knowing your target audience is really key. And honestly, I'm a bit tired of saying it and I'm definitely tired of hearing it, but it's so, so true knowing who you want to reach, and I'm not talking about, you know, age, gender, location, and all the basic stuff, but who are the people that you're trying to reach? What are their unique challenges? Why would they decide to go with you even? Why uh, are they seeking a solution to 
to, to their issue? Are they seeking a solution to their issue? Do they even know what their issue is? Um, you know, you need to really dig deep and, and understand what your target audience is really lacking in order to be able to really kind of create content that is built around those, those problems that they're having. Um, you might think that you know what problems they're having, or you might think that your service meets all of their needs, but actually when you put yourself in the shoes of your customer a little bit more often, you find that you might actually not be speaking their language, um, and you may not really understand what it is that they are seeking. What you offer and what people seek are sometimes slightly different things, and you need to find a way to translate that. So that all starts with a target audience analysis. Um, the next part of that that's really important is where are they spending their time, and that's where having a little bit of demographic information can really help because you know if you've got mums then you might want to look at pinterest right if you've got uh, business a b2b um companies then you'll be thinking about linkedin if you're looking at any small business or female entrepreneur or artist then you're probably looking at instagram um, and so on and so forth so that just helps you kind of really narrow where you need to focus your time and, and what kinds of content you need to be creating the next part of your social media strategy is your brand message. And, and this is really the language around what you do and how you help and ultimately what you want people to feel. So we often start out in our businesses with our business mission. Um, my mission is this, I want to change the world with doing A, B and C. I want every small business owner to crack the social media code. But again, if you put yourself in your target audience's shoes, what is it that you actually want people to feel? If you look at some brands, and I, and I recommend highly that you, you go away and do this when you have 30 seconds that's not occupied by multiple other things, current lockdown and stuff. But when you do find yourself with a little bit of time and you are scrolling social media, I highly recommend that you have a look at a couple of brands or uh, personal brands, people that you follow that you really like to follow, you really like their content, and try to analyze what it is about their content that makes you feel a certain way and what is it that you feel because often it's quite difficult to pinpoint why you love a brand um, you just love it right but as business owners it's our job to really analyze that and figure out how we can create that feeling for our customers we really want people to not just follow us but really be invested in our um our our offering and be really you know super fans so that's uh that's part two the third thing, and this is, you know, a pretty big part of it. Um, it does take a lot of time. It's a little bit overwhelming. People struggle with the format of content, you know, do I need to do videos and how do I get, you know, a bunch of really nice graphics done and all that kind of technical stuff. Um, but beyond that, deeper than that, you need to think about what topics you're going to cover. Um, that might sound obvious, but you know, again, going back to your target audience, who are they? Um, what are their problems? What do they think their problem is? What's your offering? And then your brand message, how are you really going to help them and what do you want to make them feel? Um, so drilling down into those two things through the topics that you're going to cover on your social media um, is really going to help people relate and connect to you at a deeper level. And that is key. What format is the content in? As I said, video, uh, graphic, text post, blog, uh, article on LinkedIn, is it a long form, is it short form, is it, you know, there are a multitude of options and a multitude of ways of doing things. Even when it drills down to video, am I going to do webinars, am I going to do, you know, live streams, am I going to do scripted videos, am I going to do talking head videos, there's so many options. Um, and I recommend, I highly recommend that you drill down into one, two or three formats that you can really get comfortable in and, um, you know, really build a series of content around. And uh, thirdly, how does it demonstrate your experience and or make people know and love you? Often I see content that is frankly not all that interesting. It doesn't tell me anything about what an expert or how wonderful you are. And it doesn't particularly make me feel affiliated to you or, or you know, um, connected to you in any way. So again, put yourself in your customer's shoes. What, what is it that they need to hear from you? Uh, how can you show off what you know? How can you be helpful as possible? Um, how can you make people realize that you're a human being with real value to, to add? So that's your, your content creation section. And obviously it goes way deeper than that, but I'm trying to keep it short. So <laughs> forgive me. And the fourth section is engagement, outreach. This is um, probably one of the 
the, the biggest common mistakes that I see is people kind of expect social media to be this thing where you put stuff out and then magically stuff comes back to you. Um, a few weeks ago, Dot Lang did a, a presentation here on uh, ESN Health Salia. Uh, I know some of you were, were there and you know her, I'm, I'm a big fan of Dot, she's, she's fantastic and she's got it right. Um, social media is a tool to connect with your customers, right? So this is not a throw out there and see what sticks. This is a proactively go out and look for your target audience, look for your customer. The fantastic thing about social media is that people are more than happy to identify themselves as A, B or C, right? People want to share about their lives. They use hashtags to say what they are, what they're doing. Um, so it's really, really easy actually to find your target audience So find people that be interested in what you sell. So reach out to them, connect with them, be a real human being. Um, but you need a plan for that. You know, how much outreach are you going to do? When, where, what's the context? Um, but you know, engagement, outward engagement is, is a vital part of being able to grow your audience, grow an engaged audience and really find customers on social media. A couple of questions you can ask yourself about content creation. Um, if you are finding yourself building lots of content and you're not really sure where it's taking you or if it's effective or not, these are a few questions. I'm happy to send this presentation afterwards or I'll send it to Helena, she'll send it out to you. Um, that you, you can quick fire ask yourself just to kind of check in on, on whether you really thought this through and whether it's worth your time and energy, frankly. Um, you want to ask yourself again, who is your content for? What do they want? What do they need? And you can ask your audience that, by the way, I do that on a regular basis. What are you struggling with right now? Um, you know, what do you need? What do you want? How can I help you? And, and people will give you feedback on that. Um, what will it look like? How is it going to reach them? How are you going to get it out there? Like, you know, you might create some fantastic video and you might post it once on your Facebook, but you know, is, is that enough for all of the energy that you've put into one video? Is that enough? You need to really think about how you're going to um, create buzz around your piece of content. And finally, does it meet the four levels of the ADA funnel, which we will talk about in a moment. This is my friend. It's my best friend, quite frankly. I work from home. I work alone. I have for many years, not just Corona times. Ada has become a real buddy of mine. Um, forgive me for being a complete social media geek, but here it is. This is my favorite part of social media um, content marketing. And it's usually a light bulb moment for many small businesses. So I'm hoping that it's a light bulb moment for you. Please uh, drop me a comment in the chat if that's the case. I would love to, to hear it. Charlene already knows this, so Charlene should be able to live with this little bit of the, um, the presentation. There are um, many stages of the customer journey, but in terms of the stages of the customer journey in your social media um, accounts, this is a simplified version of it. And uh, what you need to understand is much of the content you see online is awareness based content, right? It's the kind of content that entertains. It's pretty short. Um, it grabs people's attention. It's the way that you discover some new person to, to follow or new business to be um, interested in or a new product that you really like. It's that top of the funnel. And many people, I was just telling Dan this, many people, um, claim that social media, uh, social media content marketing is just a brand awareness exercise. I completely disagree. My entire business is based on social media and all of my um, work and leads have, have come through it. There's literally no other marketing that I do. And I've seen this be entirely effective for many, many other types of businesses. So social media is not just a case of getting your name out there. You need to have the goal of bringing people all the way down the funnel into taking an action, which is indicating that they want to buy from you, or in some cases actually buy from you, you know, if you're e-commerce or you have products online or services that people can just simply book. Um, so at the awareness level, someone's discovered you. And then as they get to know you, they start to engage with you. These are the people that start to comment regularly and really, um, you know, kind of let you know that they're there. Um, and then you've got people who start to express some kind of desire for your product. So this could be that they've downloaded something of yours, they've joined your newsletter list, um, they've you know, commented something a little bit more uh, enthusiastic, like, wow, this is really amazing, I really wanna get this. And then they've tagged a friend and said, you know, we, need, we need to get this, or we need to do this. Um, that kind of indication that they're really close to the per point of purchase. 
maybe they sent you a message, a DM, um, maybe they sent an inquiry, uh, so on and so forth. And then you've got the action level, of course, where someone actually reaches out to you to book a session or to buy something from you, um, so on and so forth. How does that translate though into types of content? What you need to be doing is creating content that meets all four levels of the funnel. And this is the biggest mistake that I see small business making. They make lots of awareness level content, lots of uh, easily consumed pieces of content. Uh, it's pretty short. Usually, like I said, it, it might be entertaining, it's engaging. Um, it doesn't really require much effort from the, the end user's end. Um, and that's cool, but you know you need to you need to go deeper than that, and you need to be offering something to each type of person because you don't know where your audience is at. Your audience is going to be at different levels of this funnel all the time. Um, you need to be creating content at all four levels of the funnel all the time around all of the topics and themes that you cover. Now it sounds like a lot of work, but you can keep it simple. I promise. It's a little bit too much for me to go into today, but if you want some advice on that, I'm happy to give it out for free. Um, so, you know, on the next level, you need to start thinking about what kinds of uh, more detailed, uh, longer form content can I provide people that are genuinely interested in what I do? Uh, so ebooks and guides and templates and tools, quizzes, webinars, longer videos, um, longer podcast episodes, uh, really in-depth blog posts that really go in, you know, step by step into something specific. That's your interest level. There's not really too much of a barrier for them to get to the to the item but they do um start to consume your your uh, content your information on a deeper level at the desire level you really want to be including things like testimonials and case studies and demos and detailed specs um uh you know more information on the service that you provide uh, a deeper look at the course that maybe you put together or whatever it might be um i think Many of you are probably familiar with putting up your testimonials and stuff, but there's a really, you know, there are lots of unique and interesting ways to do that. That isn't just, you know, oh, so and so said I'm fantastic. But this is really important because now people who are at the stage where they're starting to think about actually buying, they're already they've mentally bought into you, but now they're getting to the point, well, oh, am I going to make this decision? Am I going to spend this money? They need to justify spending the money now. Um, they already want you, but they need to justify it and validate the, the, uh, the purchase. So this desire level helps you do that. And finally, you need to have that call to action. You need to um, push people and direct people into, into buying something with you. They're not going to do it by accident. Even if people are ready to go and really want something from you, they generally need uh, pushing, reminding, offering something, um, following up with so on and so forth. So hopefully um, that gives you a little bit more insight into the different levels of, of content that you need to be creating in order to turn your social media profiles into not just an awareness exercise, but actually a customer generating exercise. Finally, um, I'm not sure if it's finally, we'll see. Um, being social. I named my company Be Social Media because I understood way back that, you know, social media was all about being genuinely one-on-one -on -one with people. Uh, sometimes you feel like you're just talking to the whole world as a whole and, and that's not true. You need to imagine yourself having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with people, really be social, be genuine, leave comments, uh, be proactive. So seek and you shall find, here are my three tips for being social. Seek and you shall find, uh, like I said earlier, people are not going to stumble on you, upon you by accident, most likely. Um, and you need to be looking for your ideal customer online. Some of you who are LinkedIn aficionados, you'll know to do that. You'll know that you can go out and seek people who are CEOs of medical device startups, right? So, you know, you, you might be connecting with those people, but you can do that across the, the social media platforms and you need to be doing that on a regular basis. You need to keep it friendly. Social media has a habit of making us forget that we're talking to other humans. As I just said, just like in meetings like this, networking meetings like this, you need to find a way to connect, find a, a level, um, you know, somewhere where you can meet and, and, you know, you start with small talk and then you build the relationship from there. And thirdly, stay active. Um, you know, this is not a hit and run situation where you throw up a post and then you bounce. This is a, you need to be an active user. You need to engage, not only for the social media algorithm, which will reward you for that. And I've got a few videos on that if anyone wants them. But, um, you know, just to be a decent human being and actually be invested in building those relationships. So that's my guide to being social on social media.
Finally, uh, here's my really, really quick pitch. I teach small business owners how to build their own strategy and how to really capitalize on social media in depth. This was a bit of a sneak peek on some of the things that we go into. I have um, the second round of my social media mastermind starting just after Sukkot on October 18th. It includes a number of private sessions. It includes uh, a group uh, session once a week for the four weeks of the course. Uh, everything I teach is in short video based lessons, some written materials and strategy activities. So it's very much do it on your own time. Um, I know that that's more important than ever right now. You walk out of it with a social media workbook and you have access to all of my tools, templates, worksheets, which are all online or mostly are online for free. So if anyone wants those for free, I'm also happy to send links for that. And of course, uh, I'm limited WhatsApp support for the duration of the course. You really do get me um, uh, uh, as part of your business for four weeks and, and helping you build a social media strategy. So if anyone wants any more information on that, I'll be happy to share it. Thank you so much for listening and I really appreciate everyone being here today. I can't believe I'm here today, but here we are. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. First of all, that was fantastic. So thank you so much. Yes, was. Does, we do have time for some questions if anyone has questions for Brady. Was that perfect? Well, Brady, I did want to say that I really appreciate um, both watching you and Dot, it's definitely shifted my perception of social media because um, your editing really explained why I personally as a sales coach have had issues with 